there. Welcome back to the classroom. Let's put a little vacay in your day. Today's vacay Q&A comes from Emily in Pensacola. Emily says, Hi, Miss Kearse. Hi, Emily. Thank you for defining a problem I have been wrestling with for years. I have no reason to complain. I have a great job, a wonderful husband, sweet children, and a nice house. Everything I want. But I'm always frustrated, tired, and cranky. I now know it's on we, but what can I do about it today? I'm desperate. What habits can I plant to be healthier, happier, and more relaxed? Well, Emily, you sound like you are a prime candidate for ennui because ennui is by definition caused by overindulgence and satisfaction. So it's not necessarily an overindulgence in food or alcohol, but more of an overindulgence in the good things in life. Just like what you describe here, the house, the family, the good job, the pets, all the wonderful things in life, but all those things come with a level of responsibility. So the first thing we have to do is pay attention. Look around, because of course we have responsibilities to our home and our family and our job, and those responsibilities are things that we have dedicated ourselves to. But what else are you doing? Are you spending time with people because it's important to them but not necessarily important to you? Are you doing favors for friends because it's hard to say no? Are you engaging in activities that it means more to the other person than it does to you? If that's the case, that's a primary cause of your ennui because you're simply spread too thin. You have to dial it back and focus in on those responsibilities that are most important to you. And from there, plan ahead. Look into the future. Don't just look five minutes down the road, but look into next week, next month, next year, five years from now. Look ahead. Pick your head up. Instead of focusing on what's directly in front of you, look further out than that. So if next week you know that you have a busy week, look ahead on the weekend and make sure that you have groceries in the house, gas in the car, everybody has clean clothes. Look at it in advance to make sure that it doesn't catch you unaware and light your tail on fire at the last minute. So when you do have some downtime, regroup. Make sure everything is as it should be. And if you don't have any downtime, then you really need to evaluate your obligations because again, it sounds like you may be spending time on activities that are more important to other people than they are to you. So you have to set your goals, set your priorities, and weed some of that other stuff out. And from there, we simply have to persevere because unexpected things do happen and we just have to plan for that too, believe it or not. So when things come up and they light our tail on fire, the best thing we can do is to be prepared on other fronts and that way when that one thing comes up, we have the time and we have the space to deal with it because things do come up. Our tail does catch fire unexpectedly. But when it does, if we're not already putting out a dozen other fires, we can deal with that crisis as it comes and we can persevere. So the next time you feel like your tail is on fire in a dozen different places, just take a moment and realize that you have to pay attention to where your time and energy is going and quite possibly dial a lot of that back. Then we have to plan ahead so that when we have some downtime, we look out into the future and see what needs to be done to make things easier when we are busy. And after that, we have to persevere because things do happen. But if we have paid attention and planned ahead, then when that crisis takes shape, we can deal with it as it comes. Okay, Emily, I hope this helps. Drop me a comment in the box below and let me know how it goes. And if you have any further questions, just leave them there and I will follow up with either a comment or another video. See you soon.